Today's starting lineups brought to you by Las Vegas. Let's start with the Ducks. All those guards, you go down to Taya Hansen, she'll start again. Grace Van Sluten has missed the last few games for the Ducks. She is scheduled to be available today and look for Che to be that rebounding, shot-blocking machine for Oregon. The Washington Huskies starting lineup, usual suspects. Daniels, what an impact player she has been. The transfer immediately helping this Washington club. But look at Oliver and Noble really complimenting the likes of Schwartz, Van Dyke, and Daniels. Well, and I think Daniels is a real neat piece to this program. She loved what was happening. She transferred home from Cal. She has been such a key. She can get her mean old, big old mean on in terms of defending the post, and she really takes a lot of pride in her game. I think she's a key factor in this matchup. So we're underway. The Washington Huskies with the higher seed in their home whites. They come at you 15 and 13, 7 11 in conference play. The Oregon Ducks 16 and 13, 7 11 in conference play. Hansen with the board. She's been rebounding so well as of late. Really strong on the boards for the Oregon Ducks. Pow pow floater. You bet. Boy, what great way to get started. Pow, pow. So hot coming off of these last three games. Kelly Graves telling us, boy, it sure is nice to see her feeling the way that she is and just in rhythm and making those shots. Boy, that means everything. Last three games, Pow Pow has averaged 22 points, has been perfect from the free throw line, and has been drilling triple after triple. Seven on the shot clock now for Washington. Now make it two. Schwartz has got to put it up. Nothing there. Here comes Oregon. Well, you better believe that Washington knows that the last time these two teams played, Pow Pow had six threes against them. Six three makes, and that's huge. So they're going to be guarding that three-point line, trying to run her off. That started Pow Pow's resurgence. Was that game against Washington, even in a losing effort, Three straight 20-point games for Pow Pow. This Oregon club, completely different team when she's on. Oh, and you're right. She had gone two of 19 in the six previous games from downtown. Rogers dumping it inside now to Che. She's only been playing basketball for about four years. The lefty gets the kind bounce. Talia Daniels just trying to play behind Che, trying to poke it away. First game, a three-game conference win streak since 2016-2017. And it includes a win over second-ranked Stanford. What a season for Washington. Rogers stepping through and the finish. Slow start for Washington. Here's Oliver, the transfer out of Baylor. She's going to get it right back on the baseline. Splashes home the jumper. Trinity Oliver. Somebody else that can contribute. This is a well-balanced team for University of Washington. Rogers, another floater. Back rim and off. She gets her own rebound. Hansen had a notion to step into that three. Kind roll for a shooter, to be sure. Did you see Rogers just felt the defense going over the top, as they often do, because she's such a good three-point shooter. Daniels doesn't follow her shot. Instead, it lands into the hands of Rogers, and she wants to go all the way to the rim. Good hands inside. Switch up on these screens. Washington communicating well on these guard screens out in the front court. Che, you love the mismatch as Noble was trying to guard Che. He says this team has no quit. This team cares, and he really likes this group. And getting Van Dyke to stay when she said, you know, I got to get out of here. You meet Coach Langley and say, oh, on second thought, hold on, a block inside by Basham. She's also setting a season high for herself in points and minutes. Uh, continuing throughout the year. It's just the position, right? The positioning, the understanding, and not picking up the foul. Ball tip. Nicely played by Daniels to keep it alive. The reverse is true. Slick move. Oliver. Strong finish by Hosendell. Yeah, has to really use her body to kind of muscle that way up there.
Schwartz. And now it's Ladine. Big triple for the freshman out of San Francisco. Again, moving nicely without the ball is Hosenda, but can't get it going at the cup. Reese skies high, ball knocked away. Mop up time for the Huskies. Yeah, and they have really taken advantage of the drought by Oregon. Oregon was stuck on 11 for a bit. Then they scored one bucket, and Arizona's starting to pick things up. They've got nine now. Good little hot streak. 13 to nine. Shot clock off, game clock at 13. Here's Rogers. Oregon at one time led by nine. The pick from Hosendub. Rogers is going to launch it. And that'll do it. They're very good with, uh, with blocks and, and Daniels also getting in there, getting in the mix. She can get some blocks. Che back on the floor for the Oregon Ducks. Ball lands into the hands of Philly. Wheels around. Great. All freshmen along with Grace Van Sluten for the Ducks. Rogers, all pack 12 and shows you why. Yeah, coming off that screen with a little rhythm jumper. Just looks so nice. Rogers, which we're so used to seeing her drain that. Oliver back on the floor for the Washington Huskies. Seven on the shot clock. Washington going deep into the shot clock again. Three now for Oliver. Shot clock buzzer. Great hustle rebound. You love that. That's all Daniels. And there is Haley Van Dyke at her best. She hesitated and then she realized this is actually my shot. Daniels with the offensive rebound and Van Dyke makes Oregon pay. Noble picks up that foul, and hey, Alyssa, I think you got a little more on Haley Van Dyke in those triples. I do, and it's something, the confidence has really come as of late. In the first half of conference play, she was shooting 23.1% from beyond the arc. Second half, she's up to 35%. And 35, you want to be around 40, but that's still a huge improvement. Switches hands, Steins all the way to the rack and gets it home. Now you're starting to see more players for Washington contribute. You need a few. You've got Van Dyke, Oliver, Ladine, and now Steins all contributing with point production. Nice pass by Che. And the ball belongs to Washington with a chance to draw ever closer. Well, we asked Tina Langley. She said, I thought our balance was really important. Every Husky who played scored, including all five available seniors. So here are the Huskies. Quietly, slowly battling back. They trail now by only three. They've been going into the shot clock deeply time after time. Seven now for Van Dyke. Picks up that dribble. Daniels goes up and through, Jay. I'm not sure how that ball went in with the big 6-8 presence right there. Hand straight up. Lead down to one. Rogers, the kick. Hansen so strong. Good defense on that baseline by Washington, and the Huskies have a chance to take the lead. Daniels stops, pops, nothing there. Hustle rebound. Van Dyke takes it right out of the paws of Che. And did you think that shot by Daniels was going? It looked real good. Smart to just pull the trigger there from about six feet. Didn't want to get any part of going after Che. Seven on the shot clock. Daniels. Yeah, wow. Wow. It. Yep. All right, so look who's got the lead. 18-17, Washington. I'll tell you, impressively, and shots that Daniels in conference games is fifth in the Pac-12 with 51% from the field. Overall, 50%. So she just gets better. And that conference being that tough, that's notable. You bet. Great pick, Daniels. Slips right inside to take it from Che. 6 nothing. Washington run. Huskies first lead of the game, and now it's up to three. Slipped right behind Che. Nobody paying attention to the 5'11 freshman guard. Washington really enjoying the fact that they are out rebounding Oregon 17 to 11, including eight offensive boards. Extra possessions matter. 
Basham back on the floor, loses it as Daniels again playing the passing lane. Delea on both ends of the floor really impacting this game. Washington with the ball with the lead, 5-12 left to go in the second quarter. Early in this game, the Ducks led by nine. Backcourt, run to perfection and one. How about that? Trinity Oliver. Well, I tell you, you really have to credit the communication of the guards because they were being denied by the Oregon defenders. And then what happened was on the switch by Oregon, the guards switched and that Oliver saw that and the vision to make that cut to the basket and then the mindset for your teammate to hand you the ball right there and a finish. It's a must-win game for the Oregon Ducks. They have a net ranking of 18, but there are many more factors that go into that deciding factor of who goes where and what seed you get. This is a must-win for Oregon. Oh, clever. How about Daniels waiting for Basham to fly by and then reverses at home. She's got six. You got 6-4 Daniels going against 6-7 Basham. Dumping it inside Van Sluten. She'll go to the line. That ain't easy. You can see both of her ankles have braces on them. And the Ducks are just glad to get this all frosh kid back in the lineup. Oh, you bet. Just leading all Pac-12 freshmen in scoring. She had six straight games with 10-plus points, five-plus rebounds. What she means to this team is she's such a key cog in everything that Kelly Graves wants to do on not only the offensive end, but the defensive end. She started the last three games in place of Grace Van Sluten. Make it four today. Seven games with three or more three-pointers. She can shoot that shot, Ann. We're getting late in this first half. Oregon started this game like a house of fire. But as Van Dyke collects another bucket from the outside, it's Washington starting to take over. Haley's hot. And when you're hot, it feels good, and you're asking for the ball a little more. And Ladine, the freshman, continues to step up and make big plays, and that feels really good by Ladine. No sweat for the dogs. Schwartz, the transfer from Rice, coming to Motlake with Tina Langley. Langley doing some terrific things at Rice before coming to Washington. Oh, the execution, but Van Dyke can't score. Watch out, Oregon's coming. Yeah, big triple for the Oregon Ducks and India Rogers. First field goal in a long time. Rogers 0 for 8 from beyond the arc. Her longest, deepest, coldest skid and finally gets a triple home. All Pow Pow had to do and was look up and yep. Rogers was there. Great run. You called it. At the rim. And here comes Oregon. A quick five points by Rogers and it's a one possession game. Here's the thing, Ashley cares. 27-24. <laughs> off the cut and pick and yeah. stick there is Schwartz. So fun to watch, just coming off, hands in the air, ready to shoot. Six second differential, shot and game clock, 29-24, Washington with the lead, pow pow, another triple, you bet, to do so. Time's running out here, good end of the second quarter, bucket for Washington would be much needed. Steins gives it up. Rogers, floater. 29-27, so it's actually relatively low scoring. Both teams, I think, are defending okay, but we just got to play with a little bit more energy this half and see if we can get up and down. That's our only chance. All right, thanks, Coach. Okay, third quarter underway. Thanks, Alyssa. Thanks, Coach Graves. Oregon with the ball, down by a deuce to open up the third frame. Pow Pow goes to her bootstraps, rims out the three into the hands of Schwartz, and here comes Washington. Third time these two teams have met this season. Oregon winning game one in Eugene. Washington returning the favor in Seattle. The first time that Washington has defeated Oregon since 2015. That was a special win. This would be even more special. Dumping it inside. Daniels up against Che. Philly keeps her ground. And here comes Oregon. 
well defended by the Ducks. Stayed with him, just like Kelly Graves said. Washington is patient. Oliver picks up her second foul. Team's first at the quarter. So Oregon gets another crack at it. Rogers so close to losing that ball. Instead, Oliver picks up the foul. Under the screen. Boy, ooh, Van Dyke goes under that pick. But Oregon can't make it pay. Van Dyke looking for a cutter. Schwartz hesitates. Floater. Five on the shot clock. Not there for Oliver. Up top. That's Turnover. So and then in transition offense, they throw the ball away. So again, Oregon knowing they absolutely need this game to get into the NCAA tournament. Nothing there for Schwartz. Chase skies for the board. And here comes Pow Pow and the Ducks. Now can they score a third defensive stop? Can they punish them? Rimming off. Chase bats it to Rogers. You bet. There you go. They haven't been able to score. They've got to focus on that scoring piece because if they're defending well in their winnable games, that's what it comes down to. 16 points for Rogers now at her season average. Oliver at the rim. Not there. Chase. Throws it right into the hands of Oliver. She gets it and one. Do her best, and she just leans over just a bit. Three-point play for Oliver. She's Washington reclaims the lead. High pick from Che. Van Dyke fights through it. Che, remember she's left-handed and scores. Good, good, look. Left. good, good look for Oregon. Listen, they snapped their seven-game losing streak because they shot well from three and they got the shots that they want. They made enough two-pointers and they made 13 free throws to be able to beat Arizona and help them to under 60. If they can play like that, they're going to just compete. 32 apiece. And Schwartz will go to the line. Daniels doing what she can do to just stay back and she's trying to get to Hannon, but the 6'8 and the strength and that lefty, how she kind of curls it just a bit and uses that glass. Really impressive. Yeah, Philly's only been playing basketball for about four years. She wasn't on anybody's radar. And she comes to the United States, visits the Eugene campus, loved it. And if Sedona Prince isn't injured, Che has adjusted and is playing Daniels to have that reverse shot. I don't think it's there anymore. That's great defense inside by Daniels to alter that shot. Daniels doing a great job of avoiding fouls while really altering shots from the Ducks. Offense is slowing down a bit. Good great. Yeah, the cuts, the extra pass, and she was so far underneath the basket. Heck of a pass. You got to make the extra one. Daniels looks up to Haley Van Dyke and says, thank you. <laughs> Hesitation and all the way to the rim. Great finish by Rogers. She's got 18. And there is the turnover. Pow, pow, spinning. Pow, pow, scoring. Aaron Simmons, who we just saw earlier today, for the 46th time scored in double figures. Can Pow Pow and Rogers continue that as Daniels answers? Speaking of that duo for Arizona State, of course. We lose in a heartbreaker to UCLA in first round action in overtime. Rogers steps back, feeling it short on that shot. Daniels does a good job of keeping Che off the boards, and Philly is limping just a little bit. As it looks like Gray will pick up her second foul. She does. Gray, one of those great guards that can shoot the three, comes into this game. Top ten in program history with 53 pointers. Daniels nearing another double-double with the ten points and nine rebounds. She's got four double-doubles on the season. She'd love a fifth. Seven on the shot clock for Van Dyke. Off the pick, Van Dyke buries it. She's playing with an incredible confidence, an incredible passion. Rogers, oof, almost lost the handle. Here's Van Sluten. Backdoor cut. Van Sluten gets it right back mid range. Not there.
five second differential, shot and game clock, late in the third quarter. Reese has nowhere to go and then finds Noble. Ten on the shot clock for Jada. Short on that jumper. Four and a half minutes scoring drop for the Huskies. No carry on Rogers, and she's short at the rim. Nice rebound. Good if it goes. Washington winning the rebounding game 31 27 pretty tight last time these two teams met Washington wins that rebounding game 33 29 Fourth quarter underway Washington with the ball and player movement making that defense work again deep into the shot clock Steins and a turnover Hosendorf all the way to the rack and kicks it out instead. Good hands. Knocking it out is Steins, but it'll be Oregon's ball. There's the high pick from Hosendorf. Pow Pow wants the baseline. Cut off. Hosendorf, five-footer, can't get it there. Crashes hard. We're going to go the other way as Che is ready to check in for the Oregon Ducks. Hosendub will actually pick up the foul. She missed that shot. It's early, but both teams looking to find some offensive rhythm and momentum. Van Dyke. Well, that's a good cure. She heard you, Ann. She's going to answer the call in 27 minutes of action. Six rebounds, two assists, no turnover. What a line. Oh, Daniels with the block from behind. What a game for Delea. She has been dynamic on both ends of the floor. 10 points, 11 boards for Daniels, another double-double, and a couple of blocks to boot. Jay picks up the loose ball, calls for help. Here's Pow Pow. Oregon's last bucket came with about five minutes left to go in the third quarter. Unbelievable as Che will go to the line. Daniels picks up her second foul moments ago as Gray comes back onto the court for the Ducks. Rogers will take a seat. A 46% free throw shooter gets them both. And with a five point lead, Eventually, you know, like I said, Oregon needs a run. Jump ball, possession arrow favoring the Ducks. You know, their seven-game losing streak, and they snap it. Uh, and, and they just, to beat Arizona and to beat ASU coming into the tournament, doing so many things well defensively to win, not being able to score again the story here today. Can they find the buckets in the last well, four minutes and 47 seconds. Rogers, yep, back off the bench. You knew that wasn't going to last long in terms of the rest. She's got 20 points now. That is the answer they need. They just got to score. They're doing enough defensively to hold Washington to 43 points. This is a winnable game. Kelly Graves says there's no quit. This team cares. And he really, really likes this group. Fifth 20-point game for Rogers. And now she's got a double-double in points and rebounds. She's got 10 rebounds now, does India Rogers. That ties a career high. Wow. Rogers again will not be denied. They have picked up the pieces and moved on and looking to go to the next step. And right now, they're taking big steps in this crucial game. Nearly a three-and-a-half-minute scoring drop for the Washington Huskies. Schwartz hesitates. Great defense by Hansen. Reverses in there by Noble, and here comes Rogers. A chance for Oregon to take the lead. Pow, pow, triple. Tahina gives Oregon the lead. A massive run. Last time these two clubs met in the Pac-12 tournament was 2017 in Seattle. 
Oregon wins it. 70 to 69. Here's another close one. I like Washington with the ball in the hands of Haley Van Dyke. I like them giving the look to Haley Van Dyke for a bucket. Well, Steins just coaxes that thing in, and the drought is over. How about the 5'11 freshman guard stepping up on a big stage? Her first time in this tournament, in this setting, in this environment, and she ties it up with just under three. 45 apiece. Rogers. The reverse slick play and finish. 24 now for Rogers. The lead back with Oregon. Got some nice help from her teammate, Shay, to kind of slow her defender down. Doing things for each other. That's what it takes in tournament time. It's March. Help each other out. You see why Oregon wants Che on the floor as Steins, the freshman, delivers the good. She's got nine. Hannah Steins. 22 of 65 on the season. 34% coming into this game. And a big bucket. Rogers steps back. Oh, what a game for India Rogers. 26 now. India Rogers. And today marks her fifth 20 point game of the season. Huge. Those are big time numbers. Impressive. Not easy to do in this league. Here's Noble. Under two minutes to go in regulation. Washington with the ball, trailing by one. Neither team in the bonus. Each team only has one foul. Wow, and again it's Steins. They're just playing clean and they're making buckets. We're swapping buckets on each end, swapping leads. Clutch game for the freshman out of California. The seventh lead change in this game. Can anybody stop Rodgers? She's just going to step back. If you don't close, you're going to pay. Daniels knew it. Daniels knew it. The minute the step back happened, she lost her. 28 points for Rodgers. My goodness. You dream of these games in these kinds of situations. A must-win situation for the Ducks. There's the tie-up. Jump ball stays with Washington. You can't make that pass that deep. Washington looking to respond. Ooh. Seven on the shot clock. Noble tries to cut. You got to put it up if you're Schwartz. That's a good look for Schwartz, and normally she makes that shot. Now the foul is going to go against the Oregon Ducks. I think they'll get gray. Yes. I think they're going to get Chance Gray for that foul. I saw her trying to get position. Good job by the Huskies to crash the O boards. Noble will sit Van Dyke back on the floor. Under a minute to go. Back and forth we go. Jay grabs that ball and the timeout quickly called by the Huskies, or excuse me, by the Ducks. Well, if I'm Oregon, Rogers gets a look and then Rogers gets another look and then one more. Che with the pick. Rogers keeps that ball alive. The dribble. And in the hands of Rogers. 15 on the shot clock. Philly looking to set another high pick. There's the hedge from Daniels. Rogers. Rogers blocked from behind. Che picks it up. Che can't get it home. And the foul will go against the Washington Huskies. And I believe Van Dyke. First personal teams, second. Ooh, hard hit. And Rogers just takes a knock to the back of her head on the hardwood as Chase trying to get to the rebound. Ooh, they got to burn their last there it is. timeout because they were, were they were in trouble of getting a five-second call. You got a foul, yeah. Team foul number three on the Huskies. They've got to come up with some kind of a defensive magical oh, no. play. Look at Rogers. Oh, no. just... Noble finally gets her, but now three only... seconds. And you got a foul right away and hope for some missed free throws if you can't get the swipe. Oh, they're almost a steal. Great play by Hansen. Oh my 
goodness, it was almost the turnover Washington needed. Watch how close this oh. is. Haley Van Dyke fell. Oliver got his hands oh, on man. it. But a headsy play and by Hansen. So free throws for the Oregon Ducks. Noble picked up that foul, by the way. Che back on the floor for defensive purposes. And Gray will toe the line. Oh, this is the first one. Her first free throw shot of the day. Remember earlier this season, she hit 32 straight. Washington and making sure with this timeout, right? Tina Langley making sure that that timeout is called to advance the ball. Letting Bob know our official. It could be a three if that's the open shot. So here we go. 2.9 left to go. To tie. No good. And the Oregon Ducks have advanced.